Hello and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and this is our fourth video on Core 1 integration. In this video I'm just going to introduce you to a few more examples and examples with other variables. We're going to do four in this video. Now here's an example I want us to go through. The only reason I want to go through this one and the one after it is you know in the previous examples I've said to you if dy by dx equals something like x cubed, find y, and you use integration, or I've said if f dashed x is equal to x cubed, find f of x, the original function, sometimes the question is just literally said uh, like this, and it just means integrate this thing in here. And this is called the integrand. This, is, uh, this has a name, and it's called the in grand is the thing you're going to integrate so basically you're just being asked to integrate this function it's not in terms of a gradient function or anything it's not given a name you're just straight out asked to integrate it and you do that by each term adding one to the power and dividing that's all you're going to do here so it's already set up for you this question so we can go straight into doing it add one to the power so x to the 3 over 2 and we're going to divide by 3 over 2 now there's a hidden one there, and you 1 divided by 3 over 2, like that. Plus, add 1 to the power, will be x to the power of 4, and we're going to divide by this 4. There's already a 2 there, so keep the 2 and divide by the 4. And don't forget to add c, you must add c. Now we're going to simplify. 1 divided by 3 over 2, well, that's the reciprocal of 3 over 2, which is obviously just 2 thirds and keep x to the 3 over 2 plus 2 over 4 is a half so plus a half x to the power of 4 plus constant and this is just equal to this there's no y equals here this was never called dy over dx or f dash there so you just say the, as your answer the integral of x to the half plus 2x cubed with respect to x is equal to this and you just state your answer as that that is the answer to this integration. If you differentiate this, you would get your integrand back. Right, let's have a go at another similar one like this. Again, this just means just go ahead and integrate the things you see. And do you remember the word for this? What is the word for the thing underneath the integral sign, the thing you are going to integrate? It is called the integrand, the thing you are going to integrate. So let's have a go integrating this then. Let's do each bit separately. Now, add 1 to the power. If you need help here, negative 3 over 2, add 1. is negative 3 over 2, add 2 over 2, which is negative a half. Okay, so we're going to add 1 to the power, so x to the, sorry, negative half. x to the negative a half, and we're going to divide by negative half. There's a hidden one here. Divide by negative a half, like that. Plus. Now, this doesn't seem like there's a power of x here. Remember that that's, that could be written as 2x to the power of 0, couldn't it? And you could add 1 to the power and get 1 and divide by 1 and you'd get just 2x. But you know any number would just integrate back to two, uh, the same number but with an x with it. So that's going to be 2x. Because you know 2x differentiates to 2, 5x differentiates to 5, negative 7x differentiates to negative 7. So if you have a number here, it must integrate to the same number with an x with it. And don't forget plus c. So therefore, let's tidy this up. 1 divided by negative half. 1 divided by a half is 2. So 1 divided by negative half is negative 2. x and negative a half plus 2x plus c. And we're just going to say the integral of x and negative 3 over 2 plus 2 with respect to x is equal to that. Again, if you differentiated that, you would get your integrand back. Right, next one. Now, there's a, a little bit more trickiness going on in here. I wonder if you can spot why. Well, we're integrating something, but there's p's in it and there's a q in it. Now, they are just acting like numbers, but there's just some extra algebra there. It's the dx here that tells us the thing we're worried about is powers and what we're going to increase and divide by powers, etc. So the x is where it's all happening. The p's and q's just act like a 3. The p 
so the P squared, sorry, the Q and the 3, they all act just exactly the same. They're not the things we're worrying about their powers. It's the X's we are. Right, so let's have a go at this. We're going to increase the power by 1, X cubed. And we're going to divide by that 3. And so we already have a 3, so we're going to have 3 divided by 3. Keep this plus here, plus x to the negative 2, we're going to increase the power by 1, x to the negative of 1, and divide by negative 1. So keep the p squared and divide by negative 1. Now q is just a number, like in the previous case, you see, remember it was 2, and you integrated that to 2x, p q is just a number, so that's going to integrate to plus qx. And don't forget your constant plus c. So let's tidy this up now, 3 over 3 is just 1. So we just write 1x cubed as x cubed. p squared divided by negative 1 is negative p squared x to the negative 1 plus qx, well that's already simplified, plus c, our constant of integration. And we say that the integral of 3x squared plus p squared x to the negative 2 plus q with respect to x is equal to this thing I've worked out here. And that's the third example done. One more example. Now, the reason I've included this is, what variable are we integrating with respect to? The dt here tells us it's the t's we care about here, not x's. So that's very important to spot what the variable you care about is. So it's the t's we're going to be increasing the power and dividing, etc. So let's have a go at this question. We're going to increase the power by 1, so we're going to have t cubed, and divide by this new power, so 4 over the 3. Now, any number integrates to, uh, it will be 6, not x, but 6t, uh, so, so plus 6t plus constant. So that's just 4 thirds t cubed plus 6t plus constant. And we can say the integral, or the integral to our question with respect to t is equal to this. And that's everything for this video. Hope that made sense. Thank you for watching.